Daryl, first of all, I uh, just wanted to ask you about um, transfer windows, how things are going. Um, just give us a bit of an update, because obviously people are, are looking at the squad and, and saying where you're up to with it. So can you give us a bit of a, an update as to where you are? I've always been pretty consistent with my message. We, As soon as we get the right player, the right fit, we'll, we'll announce it. We, uh, it's, it, it, it's no secret to know where we're looking uh, at the top end of the pitch, um, another goalkeeper. And uh, it's, it's important that and I, and I say what I said last week is, is we get the right fit for those positions. You know, I can bring any centre forward into a please people and bring a couple of centre forwards just to do that. But for me, it has to be a way of how we have recruited in the last eighteen months, and we need to continue to do that. It's uh, it's always a, a market where centre forwards are, are never easy to get hold of. We know we've got two in in, in um, Jamie Proctor and, and James Wilson. I know Rory Holden can play through the middle as well, but we do need to strengthen that area with a couple more options. And all I keep saying, I know people are probably going to be bored of hearing it, there will be a couple in before the end of the window. we still got, what, 26, 20, 25, 26 days, whatever that may be, and we'll, uh, we'll then out soon as we've got them through the door. How extensive has the search been in terms of age Con brackets? Every day, or every day consistently, yeah. every, every single day. No, I may as well have my phone tapped to me here, and so is the recruitment team. So, but uh, we have got things in the pipeline. But uh, we've had a few things in the pipeline before, and they they don't they don't happen. It's uh, it's that's the way of the market. I'm not going to go into too much details and boring people and too many. But it's it's not as easy as just going. Well, go in. There's a lot of things that go into that. First of all, the club that we 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 want maybe potentially the centre forward for, and there has to be negotiation. So, like I said, we get we'll get the right ones. Hopefully at the at the at the right right price. Um, just lastly on this bit, but uh, has this year perhaps been more complicated because you're in a higher league or you're after a better standard of player? Has that had anything to do with it? I think because we've got a a real hardcore of the boys that done well last season. We we want to make sure that and one of the best statements I can say I want I want players that are going to kick us on not for 52 weeks, you know, you could rush into the market and get the, the wrong players, but we want players that are going to consistently keep us improving, keep 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 us going in the right direction. So within that, you want to pick the right, the right options when you've got a real good hardcore of the, I think the fans and everybody else sees at the football club, the team spirit we have here. And it's making sure that we get the right char characteristics within that as well and that players are coming here for the right reasons and not just financial gain. You know, we, we, we've worked hard to get where we are as a football club, to get a, a set of players that I think care and uh, have, have, have really responded to the fantastic support we've got. And we need to make sure we continue with that, just whoever to, comes in. Just to move on to, to what you've been up to this week in terms of prep, I know you had a game on Tuesday. Was that useful for getting more minutes into players who were perhaps lacking minutes? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant to get that into, you know, Petty, Conlon, uh, Robbo, uh, Brad Walker, Dan Jones, Chris Lussie. Real some real good minutes. Jerry Small played some minutes as well, so really good. Uh, overall, though, how important? I know last year when you didn't have a reserve team and you, you placed a lot of emphasis on those friendlies, didn't you? Do you see that being a similar type of thing this yeah, year? Yeah, we, we 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 did Blackburn the other week. I don't know if you know about that. We played Blackburn the other week before that, and we'll we'll have four or five what I call bounce games over the course of the next six to eight weeks that that gets players that uh, have not played on the Saturday minutes because it's important, certainly this part of the year, to make sure that everybody's getting themselves match fit. Uh, how do you feel that some of the new lads you've brought in have, have settled in and gelled at this stage? It's been a game. so <laughs> <laughs> I'll Ask me in 10 games, 12 games time. We, you know, We've had one game, we've had a positive result and, and now we look forward to the second game. Uh, overall, or, or something else I wanted to, to ask you about was your backroom staff and some of the new faces that are around, Carlo Nash, David Dunn. Uh, what, have, what have they brought and what, how have they helped the group that you've already got here? Well, they, they, they brought uh, a different opinion, different work ethic. Uh, I think it's been improved in the areas that, that the people have come into the football club and that's what we have to do. I don't want anybody sitting here comfortable. I don't want my players comfortable. I don't want my staff comfortable. We're here to win football games and we're here to work hard as a staff and, and what Carlo and David done, they, they, they show that appetite. Uh, it freshens uh, the, the, the coaching up, it freshens up the new faces are coming into a core group that was already here last year and I think if you look through the course of the you know top managers throughout 
I'd probably say the best manager ever, Sir Alex Ferguson. He changed his staff around, and it's it's new new injection, new input, new ideas. So they they fitted in really good. The mix between you and Andy and those two is that something that when you were coming to recruit them that you looked at and thought that was a really good fit? Yeah, because otherwise I'm not employed him. It's, I know it's a daft thing to say, but we do our due diligence. He's not they're not people that I knew beforehand. I, I know hundreds and hundreds of people in football and people that I know, but I'm not one for employing friends. You know, I employ the right person for the for the right job, for the right job description at the, the football club I'm at, and them, them two fitted the bill. Just one last thing, just on Carlo, particularly with Aiden being a younger goalkeeper now, having someone who's played at the top level and somebody who's obviously been there and done it at every league, how much of a benefit will he be to a goalkeeper who is, who is still, to a certain extent, still learning his trade? He, he certainly is, and uh, the work that uh, he's doing with, with Aiden at the minute has is, is been fantastic, so re- really, uh, really good work, and obviously we need another keeper to come in as well, so uh, working away with the keepers and keep improving the game that's that that's the that's the key for me that in all areas the goal is the players the staff we've got to just keep improving 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 we're, when we're in that course of that journey people fall by the wayside we get that but we need to keep keep moving in that direction lastly then just on Exeter it's a team you'll know fairly familiar with because you played in the back end of last year um I've just said to Ben Garrity about how you you kind of view it I don't suppose you can view it as one of those games where you're going to get points because they're in the same league as you are and they did the same thing you did last year I just look at it Phil you know me look at it as three points are available talented manager uh, real good football club got a lot of time for Exeter as a football club I think they run the right way I think they do things properly good fan base it's always a tough game down Exeter, to be honest with you. A long trip down, but we'll prepare right, we'll prep right, and make sure that we uh, we're at it for that for that kickoff.